And uh, that's Ian. That's Kurt. And Derek's got the strongest forearm in the business. That's right. <laughs> what? No! That makes you sound that's a masturbation joke. <laughs> well, stop going like that and you won't have to worry about it. Oh, that's probably true. Yeah. Oh, look, my timer goes off when I do that. Oh, that's a problem. Oh, I can see it. All right. Okay. Today, we're going to be making... What are we doing? Oh, we're not making anything. We're tasting. We're tasting. tasting. Maraschino imported liquor from balls, balls since 1575. Gigantic, gigantic balls. You, what do you think of when you hear balls? Uh, okay, this is true. Geneva? Yeah. Geneva. Yeah. No. Besides the obvious hidden joke under there... I was just remembering when we were on the balls bus. Yes. And we were like, everybody was getting drunk before they should. I remember Harvey Wallbangers. <laughs> yeah, lots of Wallbangers. Wall, <laughs> They've been pushing that real hard. Know what I want? The yogurt. Hey, guys. It is so good. The yogurt one? The yogurt is so good. All right. What they're going to see this. They have well, a yogurt liqueur that doesn't curdle. Oh. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, the, you the, drank the, it. You were on the bus. The back story. had that on the bus. Yeah. yeah. The backstory is, is that, that was a good ride. Did, did, do you remember that? Yeah. Um, I don't remember that at all. <laughs> yeah, how much did you drink? The bartenders in two Japan. Two or three. He had a lot of Harvey Wallbangers. Hold on. Here we go. Bartenders in Japan. The bartenders in Japan are very textural. Yeah. And they've been using yogurt in a lot of their cocktails, but the problem is, is that curdles. using real curdles, it, it curdles. Yeah. So Bowles invented a um, non-curdling, non-curdling uh, yogurt liqueur, non and it's like the number one selling li that liqueur would be a in Japan. Great thing to review on the show. It's awesome. I wish right. all people knew that if, we were doing the show and reviewing that, their stuff. That since they well, sent we us on, this, if we were on TV, if we're on TV, <laughs> no, they're gonna see this because they sent me this. Oh, awesome! Okay. Well, I'm glad they're paying attention. Right. So that's, and I'm glad we opened with a masturbation joke too. Yeah. So you're welcome, balls. I mean, their name is Balls, so they probably get this a lot. <laughs> this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna taste this now. The thing with, with maraschino liqueur, it doesn't taste like maraschino cherries. No. If you think you're drinking cherry juice, you are far from correct. You're going to be in for an awful surprise. But this is a lot closer than what we're used to. This is a lower alcohol, it is. isn't it? Oh, this it is a 24% really nice. alcohol. And the the other brand the, we got here, the, the Luxardo, I think is like... They, 32. Kind of brought so this is probably going to be sweeter. So this yeah. is our this is what I'd call the baseline because this product's right. been out for a while. It's probably the industry standard maraschino, right? Dude. I know. I know. <laughs> Have you smelled I this? Almost, oh, yeah, I've had this. I almost want to give up on Lux on this bad boy. I, when, when I got this, I was so disappointed. That's what it's supposed but, to taste like. The thing but is I'm not expecting that. It's used in a lot of classic cocktails. It smells balance, like grass. Right? But the big question is, is that did Luxardo over time drop the quality to make better like profit margins, but this is what Dude. it should have tasted like? Oh, okay. Fair enough. That's what he thinks. Let's render our I opinion. think you're going to need to be right or their recipe. This recipe, whatever it is that they use, it smells like grass to me. Like earthy grass. Well, I think... And I expect cherries. So what are we starting with? We're starting with the We're real. starting with the bolts. We'll start with bolts. I, I think one of the I big things is going to be replacing a uh, maraschino recipe with the, the bowls mm -hmm. and seeing how it plays. Mm. I mean, it might have to be tweaked because of it's the gonna be completely consistency different. differences. Because when you put this in your mouth, you don't get... Oh, yeah. It's not thick. It's sweet. It's, 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 it. it almost has a little Sprite taste to it in the finish. Uh, it has a coffee, coffee med or uh, cherry medicine. Yeah, it's got a little like pucker tartness on, on your lips at the end. I think it dries out a bit. You know, you know those candies, the like really cheap um, throat lozenge knockoffs, the red ones that have yeah. the di like divot in them. Mm. That's what this tastes like. Divot yeah. fix? No, yeah, they're like even cheaper than that. Vic, I mean. I don't get. Maybe I don't know. I don't really. The first thing. That it's comes almost to my like mind, an artificial cherry. It has yeah. a very I'm artificial cherry that. to it. That's what I thought I would get because I get a lot like a tattoo. Yeah. Like you a chemical, chemical cherry. Uh, you mean like the chemical artificial? Yeah. That's probably alcohol mixed with Anything. cherry distillate. The, I mean, the, the floral nose on this is way way better than rose. Yeah. It's it kind of has like a rose water. Which is funny because he said nose. <laughs> And you got that must have been where that came from. <laughs> Tangerine! What? Okay. Orange Blossom! Can I see the ah. Lux? You yeah. want to start there and we'll just go this oh, way? Oh, okay. Yeah. This, I, Here, this is we, a little bit sweeter. Can we move the Lux to the front so I want to see it? I can keep drinking this. That's not as yeah. unsweet as I remember it, but it's got a very different um, mm. floralness to it or a very different... Uh, the way the flavor just... It's very vegetal. Yeah. Very like what? A, vegetal. vegetal. Vegetal? Yeah. Vegetal, it's a word. Like, my, my mental image for vegetal would be like, it's you know when your parents have like. Did anybody hear something else? Because I did. Oh. But vaginal? Yeah. No. no. I'm like, how do you get that? 
<laughs> it's very tell, vaginal. Tell me how you got that, Kurt. I'd like to know what you experiences know, your, in your life has led you to that. Playing like into the tens this week. You're like, you're like, first it was penis and now it's vaginal. <laughs> first you're telling dogs yeah. to take that, a cucumber and you need to give this man some sex. That's all I'm gonna right say. <laughs> well, no, wait. He, right now, he is. Yeah. He's been a for six months. Right? <laughs> he's like clawing it. He just keeps looking over. He's like. Very vaginal. I'm like, why are you clawing at me? <laughs> now that we've gone on that jag there, can you yeah. define the word for me? So yes, yeah. it like, so it's it's like vegetable. So vegetable, vegetable it, but more so like garden vegetable, like pulling earthy. Like earthy, yeah. Okay, earthy. Thank you. I like this. I don't better. get that. <laughs> <laughs> now that I know what you meant, I don't get that. I, I get that. <laughs> this has. I don't. Okay. No, I, I don't understand the, the science behind the products, but what I'm, what I am willing to say, I'm gonna put my myself out there. This tastes like what I would imagine would happen if you distilled maraschino cherries. Mm. It has that maraschino cherry draw that's in there. You know that there's some sort of cherry going on. It's a little bit sweet. It's almost like uh, maraschino cherry juice meets a sprite, like in a in a kind of like a citrusy. Floral, lots of floralness. That one is more grass and vegetation. Vegetation and grass, Different. floral. I can't see one replacing the other in a cocktail. Yeah. I just don't see it. I, okay. I see this as making a cocktail that has a very neat aftertaste. Mm -hmm. That's that's like it keeps drawing me in because it's got such a cool aftertaste to it. The aftertaste is neat, yeah. But I don't know if you can just everything I I've seen with Luxardo has been have, very classic. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to. Taste do it? it? Yeah, we're gonna have to bust out a cocktail and taste them against yeah. each other. It has That's to be call. one that's yeah. maraschino heavy. Okay, what what about, you, um... She was just saying this would taste good in champagne. The gin one. The a a aviation? Aviation. Yeah, we got aviation over there. Uh, you got a lot of people in the chat room that are with Anne. Ian. What's Thank you, people in the chat room. <laughs> what, what, what? I'm not I alone. I heard the same thing Ian heard. Porn? Vaginal. Yeah, vaginal. 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 Oh, I heard vegetable, but I'm right here next to his ear. Yeah. Or next to my ear. He's next to my ear. His maybe it came out that way. Well, maybe I, I heard vaginal. I need, yeah. Right. Vaginal. Well, you guys are smarter than me. I maybe know why I heard it because I could not see how the other way would have made any sense, and maybe my brain discarded and went, "Oh, vaginal." I just wondered where Curd was coming from on that. Yeah. That's all. That would be a different marketing take, but I think uh, there needs to be a product that has that flavor. No. Our <laughs> product is the best vet. I can't even say it. Vaginal. Vaginal. Um, <laughs> yeah. No other product tastes like ours. We guarantee it. <laughs> <laughs> Except That's for all you need to know. <laughs> Daddy, this liquor tastes fishy. I don't think balls are sending you any more. <laughs> yeah. We're done. Yeah. We're done. Dude. All right. No, Never mind I'm the yogurt to, stuff. I, we're go send me the yogurt stuff. I promise I won't say anything to do with vaginas in that episode. <laughs> Uh, or maybe their marketing department's like, oh god, what did we do? Unless they what like it, do? if you like it, then I will use the word vagina in more episodes. <laughs> and if not, then uh, can, I, can you let them edit it? <laughs> no. This show would be like four seconds long. It'd be like balls, sip, done. What's the percentage on this? Thirty-two. Oh, this is only twenty-four. Okay, that's a big difference. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, Hence this more sweetness. Here. We do need to make an aviation d doing this. I'm, I'm good that's with a that. project. That's something that has yeah, to get done. That's, I'm confused on if this is going to be a substitute. Agreed. Well, here's the question. This is, is probably is cheaper. An aviation right now with Luxardo is very balanced. It's probably like right. the world's most balanced. And this cocktail. is going to be sweet. The, the problem is it's a different uh, yeah. different sugar. So if we get it and it's just like totally not balanced, it we know that it just doesn't play together. It, well, it doesn't mean do that one is better than the other in a given cocktail. Because it means they're, they're different. It means they're going to create a different balance. Right. But the, the, the flip side of it is, is that if it's more balanced oh, with well, this, well, then, that goes then we know that maybe we're using the wrong product. All this time, we've been using the wrong product. Well, how long has this product been out? Is this, this a week? Is relatively new. Okay, then, yeah. so. It just came out. But there. that doesn't mean there wasn't a recipe that they based it on that was older or something. Yeah. yeah. Fair enough. I mean, that happens a lot, is you'll get products that have been around for 100 years, and... I'm guessing the Bulls people probably tried this out in a couple cocktails that have yeah, used... They've probably tested it. I'm guessing if they marketed didn't. a product for a large brand name that's been around since the 1500s, they've done their homework. And they may have a recommendation on what... Uh, Cocktails, it might be a good replacement for the original. Question of the day: What is your favorite cocktail that uses a maraschino liqueur? Would it be maraschino or maraschino? Maraschino. Mm -hmm. So when is it maraschino? Never. It's always maraschino. Only in your head. Don't do. <laughs> we can't go back there because that'll be another ten-minute conversation. Question number two: Maraschino or maraschino? You tell me, and oh. if you tell me where you come from, so That's I know. Because cool, we already asked car caramel or caramel. We've done that before, so that yeah. makes sense. 
I don't know the answer to that one. Uh, everybody's but different. I can Google it. Yeah, oh, it's like different. it's like pop and soda. Yeah. Soda it's pop. just re- so it's you a regional. Both together. Bubbles and beer. Bubbles and beer. Suds and beer. Yep. Who's All right. Ever done? Anyway, haven't you seen Shawshank Redemption? <laughs> okay, a movie means it's how it works in the. Good point. Movie. That was a stupid question on my part. I apologize. <laughs> yes, I've seen Shawshank Redemption. Yes, I own Shawshank Redemption. Boom! Whoa. I'll take some aloe. <laughs> For the burn? Uh, yeah. <laughs> We're done! We're teaching you how to drink! Oh, yeah. Ready? Oh, yes! This is awesome! What? I just got a timer. Oh, nice. How long going. I yeah. thought you were burning calories while we were doing uh -huh. the show. Oh, I am, because I move my arm and it's making steps for me. Oh, okay. nice. Right. And if you ever notice, I do a lot of movement. You do a lot so of movement. So I am burning calories like a madman. You might get a more accurate reading. There's the no trip. fat <laughs> there. Just saying. There's only one thing better than coffee, and I don't it like coffee. It tastes like bottle. coffee. Yeah, what? that's good. It's, it's dope. Perfect coffee. I don't drink coffee. <laughs> right?